To start out, open up our project, Color 101 project, and it's in our working folder called Color Correction. And we saved it in the previous lesson in this state. So we had gotten to a point where it's much better than it was. Now here's the beautiful thing that I absolutely love about non-destructive editing. You come back today and you go, man, what was I thinking? The sun must have been in my eyes. I really messed this up. Well, I guess I'll have to select it down here and delete it off the timeline, come back into Project Assets, because it's still here the way it was, and start all over. No, non-destructive editing. Let's close this. If we go back into Adjust, you will notice this one item, and this one only, has a dot over here. You can have more than one. But what that means is that's being applied to the selected clip. If we open it up, even a day, a week, a month later, it doesn't matter, and we come into here and we say Reset, it will be more than glad to reset it for us. Now, we didn't really do much. We just really clicked this button right here, and that's where we stopped. But I like what it did, and I have no problem taking a shortcut to get to here. But that button won't always give you a perfect result, and in our case, it didn't. Based on what I see, it has too much vibrance to the colors. I like the way it got rid of the cast. I'm happy with that, but it still needs more work, and that button's not going to do any more for us. That's why we have a More button here. Go ahead and click it. In More, let me scroll down here, U, Lightness, Saturation, Vibrance. The same thing that's up here, done automatically, can be done down here manually. Now, once you're here and moving these sliders, it doesn't matter where you are here. So we're going to come down here. There's U. Let me show it to you. What's just running the image through the color wheel? If you have a good, well calibrated monitor, let me give you a hint on that. It's one word spider. That's all I'm going to say. Color Calibration Spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R. How can you really manually color correct an image, or I should say visually color correct an image, if your monitor isn't color corrected? So get out on Google or Bing or whatever you use and Google in something like Color Correction Spider. See what you get. They're devices. You have to buy them. But if you're serious about color correction, it might be something you want. Let's take this back to zero. Now, the easiest way to do that, because I do this, and I can get any number I want except zero, click up here and type in zero. I'll make it a little bit easier. Lightness, well, there's lightness. does the same thing. Lightens or darkens. Just like the presets, except now we're doing it manually, visually. Saturation, I can take this thing into super saturated. Reminds me of the 60s kind of color. Or I can take it back down and, well, turn it into shades of gray. And that's not what I want to do. Let's take that to zero. In my opinion, it's good, but the colors are just a little bit too intense. Not saturated, not pure, but vibrance, intensity. So what I'm going to do manually, after I click this button up here, so in reality, if I knew where to go, we're probably 30 seconds into color correcting this video, is simply come over here and lower the vibrance. Now see, to me, that looks a whole lot better. Now we can run it. And that's not too bad. Remember, we took the audio out so it wouldn't be distracting. Now there is one other thing. This area in here seems really dark. And that might be fine, really. But I want to see if I can correct that too. So let's do this. Click the Adjust button here. Now we're going to come down to Effects. Inside of Effects, you have an area called Advanced Adjustments. And inside Advanced Adjustments, you have Shadow and Highlight. Now remember, you need to drag it onto the clip you want to change. Now it won't be here. It'll be here, Applied Effects. You have two already, Motion and Opacity. The one we chose, Shadow and Highlight. So you have to have the clip selected down here, obviously. Let's open it up. Now it's on auto right now, and auto washed it out. Don't like auto. I'm going to turn that off. If I take shadow and highlight all the way back down, that's what we have. Here's the view, show, hide kind of button. You see nothing's changing because we've taken it back. What I want to do is not necessarily do much with the highlights. I think they're fine. To see if I can lighten it up a little bit in here without washing it out. So that's shadows. 
I'm going to come in here and bring that up just a little bit. Now, not a lot, but notice it's not impacting areas that are light. It's impacting areas that are dark. You go too far, you're going to wash it out. That's not too bad. Tell you what, let's collapse that out. Let's go back to the front here and check it out. I guess we do need some sound, don't we? Don't forget the original. This is what we started with. That's what we ended up with. Now, we did two things. We did an adjustment in color, one auto and one manual to vibrance, and we applied, in effect, shadow and highlight to kind of round it out. Let's go ahead and save what we have. And let's move on to the next lesson.